Welcome to CTE, a more traditional approach. So we're going to start uh, using the, the CTE that's traditional. It's pretty much the same as the, uh, the one I usually use, although this is a little bit more, I guess, precise. And if you kind of look at the uh, object balls, and we'll go over it, it's pretty much taking that cue ball, half the cue ball, in other words, the middle of the cue ball to the opposite side of the cart. So what I'm looking at right now is uh, the object ball going to the corner, and you have to line up yourself behind the uh, cue ball, and you're going to visualize the middle of the cue ball to the, to the left side of the object ball, and then bring it over to uh, A, B, or C. In that case, it was C. And if you don't know what A, B, or C means, it means it's 15, 30, and 45 degree angles. But you really have to go to the older uh, videos to understand this is an advanced course. So make sure you know what those things are. In traditional, the difference is, is really kind of you're setting it up. You're almost automatic in line. So in other words, right now, I'm looking at half the cue ball to the opposite edge of where the ball is going. So in other words, if I'm going to the right, I'm going to line up that cue ball, 50% of it, right visually to the right side of that uh, edge of the object ball. So I'm already lined up, so to speak. See that spot? I'm lined up. My leg is behind the uh, the cue ball, my, my shooting arm is behind the cue ball, I'm holding the, uh, the uh, pull stick directly in line with that particular area, and then I'm going to pivot over, in this case, to the A side. Now I probably missed it because I didn't get it to the A, I probably moved it over a little bit toward the B, and it's a critical point, but you are already lined up, in other words, you're, you're, you're set in motion, so to speak. Uh, it's probably the most concise way of, of making these kind of balls. It's very difficult on, on a video to describe how you're lining up. But again, it's, it's half the cue ball to the right side edge of the object ball. You're lined up, and all you have to do is bring your cue over to, in this case, A, and then pivot to, uh, from, uh, don't forget, you're, you're lining up to A, on a half tip, and then you're moving over to center to shoot. This is the same ball. It's in the middle of the table. As you can see, cue ball is on the spot. So now I'm going to the left side. Now I'm lining up again to the opposite side of the object ball, half the cue ball to the opposite edge. I'm lining up visually. And what I'm doing is bringing my stick over at a half tip offset to the C side of the, of the object ball and then bring it in. A little wobbly, but it went in. And, and that's the, 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 pretty much the method on how you uh, do this uh, in traditional. Once you start getting used to it, it's relatively easy. And here's a case where the uh, object ball can't go to the left, so it's going to the right-hand corner. So I'm going to bring that half, a, half the cue ball, I'm lining up visually to the right side of the object ball, the right side edge, I'm bringing over my stick on the right side of the cue ball, pivoting over, but aiming at the one-eighth marker, which is all the way to the edge of the object ball, and then pivoting over. Nice shot. <clears throat> this is where you probably can see it a little bit better. So now I'm lining up again. This is I call it visual or visual point. So in other words, it's a visual. You visually your visual point is half the cue ball over to the right side of the object ball. So that brings you into the position of, of where you're going to be when you're moving your stick over to pivot over. So I'm, I'm visualizing this. And now you're, kind of, you're basically stepping into the right position. And once you're stepping into that right position, you, you're almost fundamentally in the, in the right area to pivot over. So in other words, what I'm doing right now, I'm, it's probably going to be just a, a B shot, but either, either way, I'm going to bring my stick over a, a half a tip off, aiming for the B, but I'm in position already. So it's not like I have to get into position. It's almost automatic, but it's very, it's very precise. So um, once you're in that position, it's almost like you're bringing it over to center and, and you're done. But, you know, I'm doing it like a pivot, like a regular pivot. 
In some cases, you might not even have to pivot because you're already set up in that position. Let's do it over again. This one's a little bit uh, a cut over to the a little bit to the left side, but I'm going to still aim for the right side of the object ball, right there, using half the cue ball, and I'm lining up visually. I'm going to bring my stick over from the right side of the cue ball, uh, uh, just about a half a tip over, aiming for the B, and then bring it over. A little pivot there, see it? And then bring it in. All right, here's a little bit of a different angle. So I'm still doing the same thing. I'm lining up that right side of the, of the object ball with the cue, brings me into position. And once you're in position, you know you have to hit the object ball pretty much about uh, on the C or a one eighth. It's, it's a nice cut. And then uh, bring it over the stick. So I'm just pivoting it over. Yeah. So that's the shot. I mean, you kind of like, uh, you could kind of, you just have to really, like I said, it's very difficult with, in the video because of the angles. But when you go on a table, you could try this, as, do, do this as much as you can. So now I'm, I'm visualizing, hitting it. I'm looking at that cue ball, visualizing on the left side of that eight ball. And then I'm gonna bring my stick over and pivot over from the left side to the right, right about where it would be like a C. And then so going straight up is relatively easy. This ball is pointed right at the seat, at the uh, side pocket. So I'm visualizing it. I'm, I'm visualizing half the cue ball to the right side of the uh, one ball. And all I'm, like I said, I'm in position. All I got to do is just uh, aim for the B and it'll go straight up. So I'm coming in on the right side of the object ball bringing my tech tip over to center and there you go same shot visualize half the cue ball to the right side of the object ball do the same thing coming in from the right side and hitting it into the into the B. Now again, you, sometimes you can look at this shot and it could be a B because it's straight up and it could even be an A. So you have to really kind of figure out the best aim aim spot, which is uh, one of the aim spots. In other words, you know the object ball is broken up to three different equal areas, A, B, and C, or 15, 30, and 45 degrees. There you go, nice clean shot. <clears throat> Now I could put this in the right side. I even could probably put it in the side pocket, but I'm just gonna bring it right over to the left side edge, uh, left side of the of the uh, uh, long rail. And I'm still gonna put my cue ball, I'm visualizing it on the left side of the object ball, bringing it over to B, but I'm visualizing, so I'm in position. Once you're in position, it's so much better. Because you're in position, all you gotta do kind of like bring it over, pivot and you're, you're Pretty much clean you're in and here's the nine ball going to the same spot i'm visualizing it so i'm going to be hitting it from the uh, uh you know it's like a b shot but i'm still visualizing it uh, on the left side of the uh, object ball and then bringing my stick over pivoting over It's a little, uh, kind of a little short shot, but it, you know, it provides the same kind of thing. You want to visualize it. I'm, I'm looking at that spot, but I'm visualizing that spot, but I am hitting it on the other side, obviously. So I'm going to pivot over. It gives you a nice, easy spot into the side. This is more just uh, to show you. Looks, this is uh, something you probably don't see me use CTE, but you can if you want. I know mean, I use Ghost Bolt too as well. But CTE is good. It gives you the uh, kind of a real definite shot in there. But you're utilizing the same thing. So you're going to visualize the same way. If the, if the cut is to the left or to the right, you're going to visualize the opposite way and bring it over. You're pivoting it over. Now it's blocked up. I'm going to do a shot like we had in the beginning. It's going to be like I said, uh, you're visualizing it from the 
half the cue ball to the left side, right there, to the left side of the object ball. That's a visualization. So it gives you the kind of, and that's where in range you've got to step into that visualization. You've got to actually step right behind that cue ball and line up the cue ball into that line, and then we bring it over to the C. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.